Verse number 20 of 2 Samuel chapter 12. Samuel wa pili 20 pale 12. 2 Samuel 12 verse 20. Samuel wa pili 12. So David arose from the ground. Daudi akainuka kutoka pale chini. He washed and anointed himself. Ajiosha na akajipaka mafuta. And changed his clothes. Na akabadilisha mavazi yake. And he went into the house of the Lord. Na akaingia katika nyumba ya Bwana. And worship. Na akaabudu. Then he he went to his own house. Alafu akaenda nyumbani kwake. And when he ha, he requested. Na alipouliza. They set food before him akal, and he ate. Akaletewa chakula mbele yake. So mkali. David arose from the ground. Hivyo Daudi akanyanyuka kutoka pale chini. Washed and anointed himself. Aji and changed his clothes and he went into the house of the Lord and worshipped then he went to his house and when he requested they set food before him and he ate blessed be the name of the Lord this is what I want to share with us. Put on a garment of praise. Go to the house of the Lord. Rather than asking God to bless things that are connected to the wilderness experience in your life, dress up. Go to the house of the Lord. Go with praise in the house of the Lord. Instead of lamenting and sitting around and complaining because of your wilderness experience, you cover yourself with the garment of praise. Blessed be the name of the Lord. For me to move, out, move on, I have to move out. I have to come out from something so that I can keep on my progression. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Now the story that I have picked from, it's the one that I want to explain to you something today. And today I want to speak to you. I don't want to preach to you. I want to speak to you. Blessed be the name of the Lord. And I want to start by saying this. I know a lot of us. We want Jesus in our hearts. But we, want, we don't want to repent of our sins. We want Jesus. Because he is the in thing. Everywhere you go including the politicians God is good all the time and all the time God is good they are all born again but they have refused to repent and a lot of us Christians so called Christians so called church goers we want Jesus in our hearts but we don't want to repent the sins that he came to forgive us. We want what God can do. But we don't want him. And David. He arose. He decided. I'm going to wake up. And I want us to find out. How did he get to that level? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So the story of David. He had a lot of military gains. He was victorious as a warrior, as a general. But also he had very painful experiences of his personal defeat. Yet he was the man after God's own heart. He was a sweet singer of Israel. He was the leader of God's people. I want to speak to you because I know you have some victories. You have won some battles. You have lost a few. They have given you names. You are a winner there. You are a winner there. But you have gone through some painful experiences as a man or a woman for God. And that's why I want to speak to you so that you can know how do you come out from where you are? How do you clothe yourself? And what are things that put you down always? You know, 
you know I can hear you are so quiet. You are still wondering. Bishop Unaenda wapi? Where is Bishop going with all this? You ask let me cause you to relax a little bit. One lady looked for a lawyer. A lawyer who knows the marriage act. When she went to his office, she asked, lawyer, is it true that if I divorce my husband, I will get 50% of all his earning. And the lawyer said, yes. She asked again, so if he has two cars, I will get one. The lawyer said, yes. So if he has five cars, I will get two and a half. Meaning I will get two and one will share. And the lawyer said, yes. And the lawyer started getting worked out. He said, why don't we now do it? We write the divorce now. And the lady said, wait a minute. I go first get married. Then I will divorce him to get 50%. Because you cannot get 50% until first you have a contract with that man. Why do you want God's blessing without having a contract with him first? You want Jesus? Then you have to repent so that he can have room in your heart. Blessed be the name of the Lord. This is David. He has won battles. He has won this and the other. But where he is at the moment, he is down. David was anointed with the oil of the presence of the Lord and the power of God. Just like all of us when we come to Jesus, we are anointed with the presence of the Lord and we are anointed with the power of God. And there is no demon that can withstand us. There is no power that can withstand us. We have the presence of the Lord. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, we have the presence of the Lord. It is me and Jesus. There is no mountain we cannot climb. When I say we, it is me and Jesus. Not me and my tribe. It is me and Jesus. Because I have been anointed with the presence of the Lord and the power of the Lord. He was gifted by God to battle the enemies of Israel. Just like you have been gifted by God to fight the battles that are before you. You can be a winner if you allow the presence and the power of God to be with you. And he used that gift that he was given by God to destroy the Philistines. And you know what? One time, he left the headless corpse of a Goliath in Ella. At that time, he was just a teenager. Oh, blessed be the name of the Lord. Some of you have slain some, di- some giants in the past. So this is for you. He used that gift. And as a teenager, a little boy, he was carrying a big head of a big giant that he had destroyed. And I want to tell you that there are battles that you have won. Don't allow it to be in your head. Because even with that victory, he endured some very great failures. And it was brought about by his uncontrollable desires for lust. The lust for passion in him. And quick tempered. The temperament that he had. He was annoyed so easily. He lost because of that. My prayer is this. Even as you win the battles, watch out, watch over your uncontrolled lustful desires and passions. 
Because where David is, where he's coming out, he has been brought down there because of lustful passion. Hear this strength of character and moral purity were also troublesome area in David's work with God. You know sometimes when you win battles it is at winning where you can lose. Because pride can come over your head and you start becoming the, 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 you become proud. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He endured all that. At times his pursuit of God is so moving. As we hear the melodious psalms of praise and genuine heartfelt worship. At other times, we want to ask David, where were you? What were you thinking? Because of the things that happened. And I know even yourself, you, are, you have asked yourself one time, what was I thinking? Why did I say this? Because it has already come and the consequence is already there. What was I thinking? What was I thinking? So in time, the victorious man carrying a big head, he was made to realize that the big head was no longer the head of the enemy, but it was his own head. His own head. The enemy is dead. The enemy is buried. But you can keep on carrying something. And keep on talking. But that you are the conqueror of Goliath. The enemy within him. Created some disastrous circumstances. That brought the great king. From the throne of power to where we find him in verse 20. He is on the ground. He is down there. So the story, you know, I did a course, I did a course in the, in the master's program that we were doing and the story, the, the place of stories in your life. That I am total sum of all the stories. Some of the stories are very painful. Hata kukumbuka inakuuma. Lakini wewe na hadithi zako diizo. But you and your stories, that is you. Niriiba debe. Unge iweka vibaya nikatae kurarua hiyo debe yako, niende nikauze. Lakini nimeokoka. Mwambie jirani yako bishop ameokoka. But I'm born again. Mm. Niliuza MB suta na capsules lakini nimeokoka. I sold capsules. Mm. Niliedesha madhiri na nimeokoka. I, Amen. I drove madhiri. It is the whole total sum. Yakoba hiyo yote ukamilifu wake. Waganu wao, wao wana. Aha. Yuko. Mambo ya utoto. Kini bwana Yesu asifiwe. Nimeokoka. I'm born again. Unajua wengine mnafikiria bishop alianguka kutoka matwini. Some of you think that bishop just fell from heaven. Sinikwambie bishop. Can I tell you bishop? Alizaliwa. He was born. Alichapo akakiwa kadogo ili kalie. Mama ajue kama kako hai. Thoroughly beaten. Nikalia wakasema kemgoyo. Hallelujah. And he, he, he was alive. Mambo yote ufanywa na hii nilifanya. I say that is done by But if you boys. if you remove one of my story I'm not complete. I'm saying this because some of your stories wewe unajua unataka ku skip unataka ukifika pale uruke hauirukiki. Hiyo uh-huh. hadithi ni yako. It is yours. It's your story. Unajua mimi ningependa niruke gashuru nifike kuwa bishop. I would want to skip and become a bishop. Sitaki kuwa pastor. Niruke tu nikuwe bishop. I become a bishop. Kwa sababu when I became a bishop I had a muso. Nalipokuwa askofu nilipata 
Yeah. Muso. Sir Bishop Muso. Muso. Yeah. Mm. Pastor. Chungani. Volkswagen. Inabeba si mitibiri pare bere. Kwa sababu buti hiko bere. Hili niweze kujega na kweda kware. Kutafuta mawe. Apana. Bishop ni poa. Skofu ni mzuri. Niko na watu wakufanya kazi hapa. Yeah, we kibia huko. We kibia pale. Around and run around. Kukipere, kupereka mawe. Pesa abazo wazifiki giri moja kwa mwezi, you, offering. You're taking money that in a month. One yani jumapiri moja huko na kama 300. Na sayi wa metoa taif. And the taif has been given. Mate, mapeni dio mingi. Uh, uh, Baka ukeda kwa benki wanasema, we kaa kado kwa jawewe, utaisabia, utaisabia huko. Apana, kuwa bishop nipoa jen. Kuwa bishop. Becoming a bishop is good. Nipoa, kashuru wana nisaidia ka hiyo. Uh, kashuru helped me with that. But, hiyo, ya kuwezabu mapeni, is How part of my story. Aha, it is, ni yadithi yaki. Ama ya. Ni nazungumu za pole pole kwa sababu, we unakahadithi kegi yungu ya peda kuruka. I'm talking like Labda ulihepa wazazi, you want to skip. Uka disappear, Toroka. ukirudi, ukarudi na baraka. When you came back, you came with a blessing. Moja ya mtoto, na ya mudhuli zote pamoja hiyo hadithi iwe baya ni yako it is your story usimweke yesu bila kutubu hiyo hadithi do not put jesus without repenting that sin nilikwambia today i want to speak to my members mimi nataka kuwa pastor wenu nataka kuongelea ningependa tukienda biguni twende pamoja if we go to, when we go to heaven we go together Usisahau hiyo hadithi kama hujaitubu hiyo hadithi tubu usiwekelee Yesu hiyo dhambi mm, tubu repent that story na kutubu ni kutubu si kusema Mungu unaelewa ni kwa sababu nilikuwa kehe dio hiyo ni kwa sababu nilikuwa tu chokora hiyo hiyo unaelewa hapana no. kutubu ni kulia na kusononeka na uchungu na kuachilia watu wa Mungu mpo bado mnapenda pasta wenu so the scripture informs us that david knows about god's mercy he knows his gracious living loving kindness for he has experienced it before his life has been blessed with grace and mercy but it is because mainly he repented he repented so well but this time mercy loving kindness won't come because he has refused to repent you know God's mercy you want to use it but God wants you to repent David does not want to repent David wants to tell God to heal the child but God wants to tell David so Nathan goes to David give him a story that's where I was na hadithi ingine unaweza fikiria ni ya mtu mwingine alipewa hadithi akafikiria ni ya jamaa mwingine akaambiwa kuna jamaa wawili mmoja alikuwa tajiri na alikuwa na ngoma ngombe na mabuzi na makondo na yule mwingine alikuwa na kambuzi kadogo alikapenda sana kalikaa na watoto wake hata kalikuwa kanashikwa na mama kanakaa kwa nyumba kamoja tu kadogo kukaja mtu kutebelea tajiri huyu tajiri anaangalia vingombe vyake na vimbuzi akaenda kwa maskini akachukua kakondoo kake akachinjia rafiki yake daudi aliposikia hiyo hadithi na ni mfalme alikuwa na washwa washwa anawaka waka he ana waka waka akasema huyo mtu awawe let that person be killed he said hadithi hii ninakupatia si nikwambia hadithi yako this story i'm telling you wewe unapofisikia hadithi ya mwingine unasemagaje anaenda jehenamu huyo mwenye dhambi let him go to hell 
lakini nataka kukujulisha hadithi hiyo ni yako but this story is yours daudi aliposema huwa akabio na hadithi when david said david said he be killed ni yako it is yours akamwambia he told him wewe umeamua akufe mungu anasema hutakufa you have decided that he dies god says he will not lakini huyo mtoto but that kid huyo that kid atakufa he will die he Daudi akajua Mungu ni wa upendo Mungu ni wa rehema Nitaenda kwa hekalu yake Nitafute rehema yake Nitaute neema yake Na akafunga Na akaomba Siku saba Lakini anapoomba mtoto anagojeka zaidi Ki vile anaomba akasema hakuli Havai Haogi. Siku ya saba Akaona jamaa wanaongea. Akiangalia sura akaona ni kama mtoto hayuko. Ndani like akajua mtoto hayuko. No Alipojua mtoto hayuko. Akaamuka. Naomba Mungu akusaidie. Uweze kuamuka. Kwa sababu ukiamka uvae nguo za sifa za Mungu na upendo wake na rehema yake uende katika nyumba yake Bwana atakutenda mambo mengi Bwana Yesu asifiwe akaingia kule ndani ili aweze kukiri mambo fulani Alipoingia kule na amemuomba Mungu na amemtukuza Mungu akaenda nyumbani akakula chakula wakauliza na maswali wewe ni mtu aina gani mtoto alipokuwa hai hukula chakula sasa amekufa unakula unajipaka mafuta mtu aina gani naye akawaambia nyinyi amjui mimi nimeshatubu nimekubaliana na Mungu huyu mtoto lazima afe na akifa aende na kule ameenda harudi lakini mimi nitamfuata kule alikataa kutubu sasa mtoto ameenda Daudi ametubu Bwana Yesu asifiwe sana niseme hivi mahali Daudi alipokuwa pale chini pale chini amekaa ni kuzuri kujua hivi hata kama hakufanya kitu katika sakafu mkuu wa majeshi Yoabu alijua ile dhambi amefanya wale watu wakuu wa vita the mighty men of war they knew what had happened the people on the streets they knew what had happened the sin that he had committed in secret was now made public it was so humiliating but it is at that point when he was so humiliated he was able to rise up he was ready to come out and declare i know i have sinned the child has died where the child has gone I will go. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Which meant hakusikia kuchekerewa kama ni kitu. He did not feel like being laughed at is something to worry him. Unajua shida kubwa ya wakristo. Kwa sababu tumekataa kutubu. Because we have refused to repent. Sisi ufuatilie tu. Yesu awe ndani. We want Jesus inside. Lakini maisha yakae vile tu yanakaaga. Nikuulize swali. Wewe unapoenda ba siku hizi, ba zote, ba zote, hata zile ziko kwa barabara ya mirema huko. When you go to the bar or the pub. Wanaimba nyimbo gani? Which songs do they sing? Kwanza saa tisa, saa nane, saa tisa, saa kumi, saa ile wamelewa wote wako chini, wanaimba kwa nyimbo za nani? Which songs do they sing when they are? Naimba nyimbo za Munishi. Munishi. Those are the songs. Nyimbo za JP. Irema ichi. Na hako pale chini na Irema ichi. Ya kwamba milima hii, these mountains and it's down there. 
akienda nyumbani anaenda akigosha when he goes home he goes crazy lakini moyo amekataa kutubu but inside he has refused to repent mimi na yule mulevi si nisema niwaongeleshe tu hauna tofauti kama umekataa kutubu utatoka na sifa na dhambi zako ni kama kubatiza mtu ambaye ni mulevi ataingia kwa maji akiwa mulevi na atatoka akiwa mulevi aliyebatizwa nilisema nataka kuzungumza na wakristo wapendwa ambao mimi ndiyo pasta wenu kwa sababu ningependa twende mbinguni tuache mchezo ya kuleta Yesu kwa moyo ambao hauna ushirika na yeye kama ni kwetu ningeuliza tulio hamwe alafu nisikie wengine wakisema eh tulio hamwe ama wengine wanyamaze tu David Daudi yuko pale chini down there amefunga siku saba he has fasted for seven days amejaribu vyote anavyojua he has tried all to change god's mind remember nadha na amesema mtoto lazima atakufa wewe utaishi na daudi anaenda kuomba mtoto asikufe hapa kuna watu hapa 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 nina wakristo hapa nina watu wana Yesu ndani wamekataa kutubu na kuna mambo wanaombea na Mungu amesema yafe hata ukifunga siku saba yani complete siku saba kile kimeamuliwa na Mungu kitakufa kitakufa hata ufunge siku 40 kitakufa There are some of us here today that we have thoughts and plans that we are trying our best to keep them alive we are even weary we are even frustrated because we cannot make it happen and i also want to tell you you cannot determine god to change it if god has declared they have to die bury those thoughts they are causing you so much pain and headache kwa mfano for example alikuacha na akaoa na akaenda mlemo na bado unasema atarudi mimi sitapoteza muda nitamgoja Mungu wa Israeli lakini huo uhusiano nitauzika akiurudisha Mungu aurudishe yeye hulali eh unaomba eh na kufunga na amepata watoto watatu sasa na bado unaomba na kufunga nimesikia hata waine anakuja na unaomba na kufunga umefutwa kazi umefutwa kazi na bado umekataa kutafuta nyingine umefunga unaomba urudishwe pale kama Mungu amesema ife ife ai ona wa bindia nini si ni wewe hata ikiwa aje ona wa kirani wa ingwe hata ukinyamaza umesikia if god says kill it akisema mungu iwe actually kill it iwe there are some business that you guys are doing kuna mabiashara basi na imekataa umekopa na bado unataka kukopa juzi mtu mtu fulani ameniambia nimlipie nyumba kwa sababu because uh, anataka nimsaidie kulipa nyumba to help uh, to pay the house rent anapata kibarua hapa na pale nimsaidie kulipa nyumba getting, uh, nikajiuliza nikimlipia nyumba nitamlipia miaka ngapi mimi nikajiuliza si kwanza atafute zile pesa le, le, tuongee tu kama mshahara wako ni 5000 did you know nairobi unaweza pata nyumba ya kukaa 
Unajua utapata nyumba? Hata hapa Zimbabwe kuna nyumba ya ngiri moja. Don't don't allow yourself to be frustrated. Usikubali kufinyika na kuhukumia. Smile when you come from that house of your lock it. Tabasamu na ufunge nyumba ile unapotoka. Na ukirudi unanunua nyanya moja. Do you buy one tomato? Na viazi moja. One waru one, one uh, na nusu kilo na nusu kilo ya unga. Na and a half kg of flour. Na unaamua nitakuwa nikikula sapa tu because sapa ndio dangerous. Ukishiba utaweza kulala sapa tu. Only sapa you will be taking only sapa. But you smile. Una smile. Don't allow yourself to die before your time. Usikubali kufa kabla ya wakati wako. Why should I live in Mudaiga when I cannot afford it? Bona nikae Mudaiga kama siwezi nikafaa. So that nikikutana na Rachel namwambia Rachel unajua naisha kama Mudaiga lakini tafadhali hii mwezi nimeona kimeumana. Nasa niko pesha 120. 120. Mimi nitashindwa 120. 120. Na mimi ile ninakaa ni ya 20. Lakini kupatie 120. Ili tu ukiniambia unaishi Mudaiga. Ati naishi runda. runda. Mimi nakaaga runda. runda. Lakini Solomon, si ni kopeche tu 120. Na Solomon haishi nyumba ya 120. Are you getting the point? Lakini kuna watu ninawazungumzia hapa. You know where you live. Because there are some things ulifunga, uka, ukawacha zife na ukaita watu waje memorial service. Na ukahama. And you move When I was thinking about this Alice. It's this good this is now preaching to Alice. We were coming from banana here. Two big huge bedrooms. Two. Huge sitting room. Huge kitchen. My dining table had a place with the six Cheers. The Lord has called us. Go and be preaching Zimmerman. Then we get to a place. The room where we are. Unaingia na styro. You get in uh, by style. Hiyo meza na viti zake haitumiki. The, the table and the, all those seats no, they are not useful kitchen inayo ni ajabu na kweli the kitchen is looking nice lakini hata mshahara nao ulikuwa hivyo unatoka huko unateremka chwi you go down huyu anaitwa Mungu that is god na huko and there ndiko siku moja nisikia mikora imekuja One time there came uh, robbers. Alice akanambia toka ukapigane nao. Lali say go and fight them. Nikatafuta kitu ya kutoka nikakuta ni spana tu ilikuwa ya 20. Najua hii spana 20. I looked and I got spana. Ndio ni, ni, nilikuwa nimebakisha tu nilipomaliza bari ya batatu. Ndio nilikuwa nayo hii spana ya 20. Spana number 20. Nikatoka nayo. I moved out with it. Nikaenda kufuata mikora. And I went to look. Pole pole. Very slowly. Pole pole. Very slowly. Nikatafuta hao mikora. Nikawakuta kwa karatasi ya sukari. <laughs> Walikuwa cockroach. They were cockroach. Shindwe. Shindwe. <laughs> I am a part of all that story. Hiyo hadithi yote mimi ninahusika. Kwa hivyo nikikaa pale ninaishi lazima nikumbuke. Even when I stay where? Wewe umetoka wapi? Where are you coming from? Kuna mambo lazima ukubali yaishi. There are things that you must allow to end. Usikae kwa hiyo hiyo nyumba ati ukisema bwana anakuja na sasa una deni. Na deni na deni. Continue getting into debt and staying in that house and saying God is coming. Muulize Mungu, unasema nini? Ask God what are you saying? Daudi. David. Huyu mtoto atakufa. This child will die. Daudi anaenda kufunga na kuomba. David goes to pray and fast. Mtoto akafariki. And the child died. Alipofariki Daudi akainuka. David Rosa. Blessed be the name of the Lord. So my advice to you 
is to kill what needs to be killed. Let him take out of your life those things that were conceived during the time of spiritual rebellion. Stop asking God to bless things that you have kept alive but they are connected to the wilderness experience. So, kill King Agag. So, destroy all the fatlings. Don't spare any. I'm speaking to you. Don't be religious. Hebu leo tuamue. Kuna vitu ambayo Bwana amesema zife kwa maisha yetu. Na wewe ukubaliane naye. Because if you do so, utainuka. And if you rise, utavaa nguo za sifa. Na utaingia hekalu ya Mungu. Na ukitoka utaenda na baraka. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Sitaingia tu na Yesu. I will not just enter with Nitaingia ni tubu. Yesu aingie ndani na nitoke naye. What a friend we have in Jesus. Are there trials and temptation? Are there trials and temptation? I'm going to ask him. What needs to be killed? Whether it is a trial or temptation. Die by fire. Bwana Yesu asifiwe. Amen. Unajua ukihubiria washirika wa wako na unawajua sana. Kuna tu point nyingine unawakopaka kusema but si vazi niseme tu kama amekuambia ife wacha ife. I say. God says let it die let it die. You know it is like it's like riding a horse and the horse is dead but you are still riding on it. Kama ni farasi unaye. Bado unasema itainuka tu. Itainuka tu. Itainuka tu. Itainuka tu. My advice is to kill that which needs to be killed. But I also think there are some of us that carry things that God ought to have killed because they worked in 1970. They worked in 1980. They worked in 1990s. They worked in 2000. They have worked now 2020. And you keep on holding to it. Those needs to be released. Me, I come from karate. And I normally say there are Korino di Wengi. Lakini wa Korino wa squeezy hawa me wakoka kingine. Wakule wa zamani walikuwa naenda migu. Hawange ingia matatu. Kwa sababu walikuwa meokoka. Diyo walikuambia. Na sisi sote tulikuwa kafiri. Hata wale walifanya kazi kwao ya kuchunga mbuzi. Waliwekewa chakura kwa bakuli pale kando kwa mlango. Inawekwa huko pamoja na umbwa. Huko. Outside wakienda kwa duka kununua na mama alikuwa akinikumbusha juzi my, my mother my, my, mama yangu alikuwa ananikumbusha ati walikuwa anaenda karate pale dukani that they used to go to karate at the shop mwende uh-huh. chube chumbi mwenye sukari sukari maguta mafuta kibiriti kibiriti anaweka pesa hapo chini and then he will put the money down there yule anakuja na vitu zake anaweka hapo chini and the other one will come and put the things there anachukua pesa anarudi nazo he will take the money and go analeta change then he brings the change mkulino anaanza service and then this mkulino will start ya kutakaza and to, to, to purify anatakaza shumbe purifies the salt shukari purifies the sugar maguta purifies the mafuta motu purifies the hunger na pesa and the money alafu anatoka siku hizi wanadanzi kutuliko. Hawaruki. 
they don't jump hawaruki ile tulikuwa tukiruka kule kwetu sasa ni ku dance ku katika ile mkatiko baka nikasema jusufu nikasema yusufu wa huko kwetu akelioka yusufu akinuka atakufa tena he will die atasema hapana he will say no hiyo kereba sio kereba ya kweli but that's not the point mm-hmm. the point that i'm bringing to Nina us is that i will have jesus in my heart i will not carry symbols that are past sitabeba vitu ambavyo ni makitambo nimesema kuhusu kiremba because uh-huh. i said about kiremba the message that used to preach to us is because of the glory walikuwa wanatubiria kwa sababu ya utukufu maka ubera glory they used to cover the glory, glory. Mm-hmm. because of the glory and it is in the bible when moses saw the lord he was with the glory it was shining so moses akaweka kireba dia alikuwa mkurino wa kwanza he put on a turban turban sasa wakurino wale mnanisikiza live live aha kwa wakurino those who are watching live mkurino alikuwa anasema mkurino who is the savior who is ah ni nani mkombozi nani mwokozi si kireba aha ni mkuri ya kwamba ni mkombozi no ni nani mkombozi in numbers katika hesabu people are carrying the serpent watu walikuwa wamebeba nyoka so people thought wakadhalia they will keep on carrying the serpent wataendelea kubeba nyoka but the bible says no You cannot carry the serpent today. What we need is to look at Jesus. Look and live. Jesus is our savior. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Because God used certain methods to answer our prayer and bring deliverance. Because God moved in a certain way. We want to hold that and keep it alive. Yet God is saying destroy those habits destroy them Kiku use that are here I, I, I will not preach about you I almost did Nimeona time zangu zimeenda Afadhali kumaliza Niseme hivi Let me say this Ili nisikae hapa mpaka kesho na kumbe ujumbe wangu jeni uliisha Ujumbe wangu labda uliisha My summon I don't know what God has said about those things that you're still lamenting over. I don't know what God is saying about those relationship that you're still lamenting over. But if God says kill it. Or if it says it is going to die. Don't waste your time there. Arise like David. Agree with God. Dress up with the praise. Then you can enjoy the rest of your days. How many people want to to enjoy? If you want to enjoy life, allow Jesus to come into your heart. And what he condemns. Whether it is the thing that you has been giving you money release it what a business it was but god tells you to leave it leave it keep on moving the lord has something good for you mungu ako na kitu chema kwako bwana yesu asifiwe ni watu wangapi wanasema bishop you are speaking to me umeninenea kuna kitu lazima kife saa hii there is something that must die now usigoje dini don't wait for dini inagojaga wimbo Pass me not to gentle Ooh, savior. Ikifika pale ndio sasa unaanza kupata revival. But if it is you and you feel something has to die. Hii ota ungeisha itumia hii saa hii. Ungekuwa umefika hapo. Hata ungekoja kuitwa na mtu. Ni kusema ni mimi na ni sasa. Na I'm burying this thing. I know you are still waiting for me to make an altar call. I will not. But if you know God is telling you something has to die. Come and hold this altar. Come and hold this rail. 
Come and hold Israel. And just say, let it die there, there, there. If the Lord says it has to die, let it die. Let it die. In the name of Jesus. And as you do so, allow others to come. After you have released it, go back and sit. Because there are people here. There are issues you know. And you are saying, Lord, I have had it. This has to die. That has to die. There is something you have for me. And I want to walk in that direction. In the name of Jesus. We started by saying, what a friend we have in Jesus. Jesus loves you. Jesus loves you. But although he loves you, he hates sin. And therefore, anything that is lustful, anything that is adulterous, anything that has caused you to fall, the Lord wants you to kill it. Kill it. Watch Aife. Let's bury it today. In the name of Jesus. Just take a moment. Go back and sit. Allow others to come. In the name of Jesus. Allow others to come. This altar is this altar is for you. There are some of you, your life will never be the same. Out of this service today, there are things that are going to die and your life will never, ever be the same again. Once you have this, once it has died, dress up. Cover yourself with oil. Have the praises of God. Talk about his goodness. Talk about his favor. Talk about his grace. Learn to praise him. Once you come to the to the rail, just hold the rail and then go back. Let others come. In the name of Jesus. May the Lord do to you according to your desires. May this act put you to the next level. If it is a relationship you are still lamenting over, leave it. Wait on God. If God wants to restore it, he will. But don't stay there and keep on lamenting about it. If it is a job you lost, leave it there. Look for another job. If the Lord wants to restore it to you, he will. But for you, wake up. Dress up. Go to the house of God and bless his holy name. Bless his holy name. If there are people in the tent and there are ministers in the tent and there is no place for you to go to the altar, just get close to where the altar is and hold that altar and release yourself there in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus blessed be your holy name my father yes I want to thank you I know you are in this service today and dear father indeed there are things that are going to die because you have already said they are going to die I'm not going to hold them anymore I'm going not to hold it anymore I've held on it for a year for two years three years four years some ten years I'm going to release it I have a life to live I have a life to live I'm going to let it go I'm going to bury it because the Lord says it has to die blessed be the name of King Jesus Blessed be the name of King Jesus. Hallelujah. What the Lord says, I'm going to do it. So David confessed that what God has said, that God has done it. So the son was going and where the son was going, he knew he was going to go there. But the son will not come back. Release some of those things. Release some of those situations. Release those some situations that are holding you down in the name of the Lord.